We're going to create a curtain and the tool that I'm going to use to create a curtain is actually the pencil tool. So I'm going to go to create curve tool pencil curve tool and under the pencil curve tool I'm going to draw a line that looks like this. Oh, I'm in the, I'm in my front view. All right. I'm in my front view. And now I'm going to go to modify center pivot. I'm going to press E, which is the rotate tool. And I'm going to rotate it flat. Next thing I'm going to do is press Control D to duplicate that the blind. I'll press Control D one more time. So now I have three curves, okay? So my perspective view, you can see I have these three curves. All right, three curves. Now I'm going to go to Surfaces Loft, and there you go. Now it kind of looks like sheet metal right now, but what we can do is select the vertices at the top of our curve and scale it down or we can select the curve itself and maybe change the shape of the curve you see we can change the shape of the curve if I click on the geometry and press 3 then it's going to smooth it out now it kind of looks like a cape all right, so I could take this shape here, and I can do that with it. I could select the curve. All right, I can select the curve. Right mouse click and hold and go to control vertex and maybe change some of the vertices at the top of my geometry. Right, so now I'm just changing the shape of the curve itself. You see? So you can get a really nice custom shape. I can select that curve at the bottom. Right mouse click and hold, go to control vertex. Select the vertex and move the vertex down. I can highlight all the vertices on that curve and scale it closer together. And now I can select this curve or that geometry, press control D and move it over. And I can manually change the vertices on the right piece of geometry. If I want it to add a little bit more shape to this object, I can go to mesh tools, insert edge loop. And add an edge loop at the top of the curve and one right here and maybe scale this down a little bit more I'm gonna press 3 so that I can uh, see this in soft selection okay so with the loft that has the curve still in here I would just select the curve and change that shape at the top of the geometry okay same thing right there so that's pretty much how I would do this is to do a loft and then eventually you're going to need to add like a bar straight through the top of this curtain so I think it's really important that we determine exactly where that bar is going to be. So I'll go to my side view. I'll press 5. And I'll create a polygon cylinder. Create the 
And now I'll press R and I'll scale it wide. Like this. Move this guy right here. And I noticed that this geometry is a little bit, um, it's perfect in some areas, but in other areas, um, the geometry of my cloth doesn't go through it. So with this lofted shape on the left hand side, I'm going to select some of the vertices and move them forward. I'll click on that object there, move this left, and I'll take these vertices and move them like that. Okay, so again, we're just pushing and pulling on vertices. Just like that. You see? And now, I'm actually going to delete the one on the right side. I like this one, so I'll go to Modify, Center Pivot, Control D, and move this guy over to the right. So it is a duplicate. And one thing I really try to avoid um, are having geometry that actually look the same. So with the object on the left, since there's still history on that curve, I can select the curve, maybe scale it down a little bit. All right, select that curve right there, press R, scale it down just a little bit more, right? And then I get to take this guy over here, select all the vertices at the top and bottom, and maybe scale it down like this. You see? Now again, if you wanted to add more variation like in the geometry, just select the vertices and maybe you scale them flat that way so it doesn't feel so um, curvy and undulated. All right, like the folds aren't the exact same as the other one. And there you go. That's your curtain.